Now on the more um, breaking news about US is preparing or setting up to go to war with Iran by plan to send over 100,000 troops there plus I think we already sent like warships there already and I, I believe uh, this is mainly being uh, sort of uh, we're being pushed to get Americans involvement uh, actually to, to do, you know to get into a war with Iran because of uh, uh, Bibi Netanyahu and the cow prince of Saudi Arabia uh, and two more bees you know there's this, um, these four bees that's sucking around the internet uh, and the other two bees I'm not sure Bolton <laughs> that's one of them that really want to go to war uh, based on the mainstream media and uh, other sources you know which is uh, pretty pretty likely you know this guy you know so uh, what I'm thinking about that it, it, it is crazy it's, it's a very dangerous uh, Iran actually never highly invaded except war with Iraq a very peaceful country although they involve a little bit with Libya and Syria but you know that's after US had had uh, armed the opposition to fight the Assad uh, administration there so uh, anyway uh, so I think it is uncalled for and it's very expensive it, it is very dangerous and we already have troops all over the I mean you know in Middle East and they are they are tired and we already spend trillion of dollars with another war you know hopefully we're not going to war with uh, Venezuela <laughs> uh, American just got tired of uh, this uh, potential wars or, or, or you know war talks so uh, this is gonna be not gonna be good for Trump I I got a feeling that Trump doesn't want to do this just and you know next year election is gonna be really bad because this, this is gonna instead of using money for other social programs we spend too much uh, the money that going to uh, defense industry defense industry complex and other industries and take away tax money to to program like free education free health care for example or you know green Green New Deals or green investment, for example, right? So or new infrastructure. Anyway, uh, I think most Americans don't want it. And again, Iran uh, never, never threat us or, or any attack us. Very, pretty peaceful country actually. You know, considering Saudi Arabia bombing uh, Libya right now. That is the bad actor. So we have BB Netanyahu, bad actor. Uh, Karl Prince, bad actor. I think they had, you know, he had executed like I know a lot of, uh, beheaded a lot of people uh, lately. So uh, you know that country need definitely need reformed. So um, I hope Trump and you know a lot of organizations, you know, uh, pro peace. Organizations will, you know, they already, you know, know that, you know, this is, you know, been going on for years that, that you know, we want to go to war with Iran and, and hope, hopefully the American people will, will stop this, you know, uh, through social media, on the street or call your representatives and stop the madness and, and wasteful. This is going to, you know, make it go bankrupt even faster. <laughs> You know this war. <laughs> we already spent trillions in um, Iraq and Afghanistan and Libya and where else? I mean uh, uh, Syria, I guess. Um, you know, I mean for what? How many? 15, 18 years. We we've been this is the longest war, long, longer than uh, uh, Vietnam War. Uh, that is crazy. I think American people are really numbed. You know on this. So anyway, uh, no no more war. Uh, we need money at home. We need to build. New infrastructure at home. Uh, we need to bail out student loans. Definitely, that become a national issue, not not student issues, but you know, trillion dollar in student loan that preventing them to uh, you know to start businesses and things like that. It's only benefit banks. Anyway, um, that my talk uh, for today, and uh, we'll talk to you folks later. Bye for now.